Long time no see, my friend. Would you like to come in? It's been almost two years since we last saw this machine, featuring in the £5 PC build challenge of 2018. Unfortunately, out of four contestants, the Athlon Dell came in last place. I'm sad. I'm so sad. I'm, are, we, are we sad about these results? Fellas. Main man Tekken should have come in first. Our main man Tekken should have been here first. But now that the time has passed, it's time to prove the sheer amount of power this PC can kick out once given a larger budget. When we left it, this Dimension E521 was equipped with an Athlon X264 4400 4GB of RAM, a 250GB hard drive, and the horribly bad 7300LE graphics card, which has since been torn out. While I do want to push this system to the limits, I do want to keep in mind that we're stuck on an AM2 platform, along with the fact that the budget for this build is my wallet, and there's seriously no point putting an RTX 2080 Ti into this build with the terrible bottlenecks we would experience. For that reason I have a set budget of £50 to upgrade this once low-end computer into giving us respectable gaming experience. Starting off in the storage department, while this isn't necessarily needed, I decided to amp the hard drive space from 250GB to 1TB a welcome upgrade no matter what. I got this drive for free because it came out of an old CCTV system that was going to be junked. Next up, for our graphics card I got the GeForce GTX 460 for a great price of £10. While this card is several generations old now, the pure power of the Fermi architecture will ensure that we get some respectable results out of our system. The only problem we run into is the 305 watt power supply. This just isn't adequate enough for a card like the 460. And the 500 watt power supply we would need would cost a fortune new for our price range, at around £45. To solve this issue, I was able to pick up a used Cooler Master 500 watt power supply for £18. While I made sure not to go over the budget, I did also look out for a quality brand. No Chinese brands, as I did want this system to survive. That's why I picked up this Cooler Master option, as they are a reputable and known vendor. Now it's time to throw it all together and hope it works. Starting off with the hard drive, Dell makes upgrading easy with their blue hard drive caddies, meaning our drive upgrade went without a hitch. Next up, the GTX 460, and this is where things get a little messy. Because of the unique BTX layout, the top PCIe slot isn't necessarily meant to fit a dual slot card, meaning we had to get a bit hacky. I started by removing the fan shroud for the card, separating the heatsink, and reseating it all to create a slim down card. There was one issue with the reinstalling and that was simply resolved by bending one of the heatsink fins so the fan would not get caught. To keep the GTX 460 secured at the front, I decided to add a zip tie through one of the mounting holes. Now, when it comes to the PSU, the cable management with the original Dell power supply is going to be much better in comparison to what I can do due to the perfectly sized cables of the Dell. However, I was able to pull off a pretty neat job with a few cable ties. I did add a SATA power to PCIe 6-pin however, as the PSU only came with one 6-pin, and the 460 required two. And now with all of that done, it's time to close up the side panel, plug it in, and watch it smash through some titles.
At the end of this project, what do I have to say? Well, first of all, well done to the little Del for trying to play some of these games. It was clear that despite our upgrades, the CPU was still the factor holding this system back. But as I say, I love this machine. It may not be the most powerful, which we've definitely just made clear, but it still holds a place in my heart as one of the favourite machines I've ever owned. Lighter titles such as GTA Vice City ran without a hitch, but for the newer stuff, it was clear that the poor system struggled. But I had fun making this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Smash a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Don't think they knew what for.